Hi, this is T with T Quilts, and it is Saturday, August 17th at 10.05 p.m. So if you're watching this at any other time, just know that it's an upload. I'm just here doing some sewing and thought that I would go live. doing on Friday night <laughs> Leticia hi how are you I'm just here I came impromptu since I'm in here sewing I'm actually sewing on the sew along that's in my T quilt sew along group I, I'm behind <laughs> Rhonda Jones. I, I, I saw some other names. I'll go back and get those in just a second. I just sold a piece that I meant to chain piece when I got through with this batch. So I've already sold one of my chain pieces. <laughs> and I don't have my phone in here. So we've got Sonia Jones here as well as Rhonda Jones. <laughs> L.A. Quinn says hiya. So are you all up sewing or are you just up, about to go to bed. This is what I'm sewing. I'm actually sewing. <laughs> Let me show you. I showed you the picture on the thumbnail. Sonia says she's cleaning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is what I'm actually sewing, making four patches of this right now. I'm working on just one half of it, and then I'll do the other half. So, I did just a little cleaning today. I actually organized all of my scrap, and, well, it wasn't all just scrap, but I organized my heat transfer vinyl. I had a big order come in and I wasn't even sure what I had. So I'm like, if you're not sure what you got, then it's time to organize it. So I took most of my day to do that because the scraps were a little bit more cumbersome. I ended up just putting them in a plastic bag with, um, you know, by color. Thank you, Sonia. LA says finished sewing and ready for, for Z's, okay? <laughs> Rhonda says I'm killing time on YouTube. Sometimes I'll do that when I'm up late. I'll watch some videos or I'll let them run while I'm doing other stuff. Let YouTube run. But I need to get these pieces sewed, so I can't do that today. I'm actually... Uh, kind of stalled because I got a lady who wants me to pull the quilt for her and so I don't want to do anything else in that room until I do her quilt so that I don't get stuff all on the countertops out there so that's why I'm in here and <laughs> I, you can't see the countertops <laughs> but I don't have I got one scrap container. I got my cart here, so I don't have too much up here. I did clean up from doing the um, HTV. My problem is I don't like to clean up in between projects. But this time I did clean up. Got rid of all the bags I had. Um, I also have a large t-shirt order and I had to order some red glitter vinyl but I went ahead and cut everything that I could cut out of the white. So I've got it all cut and weeded. So I've done that since Thursday evening. So just trying to stay organized as I get things done.
and as I'm sewing these blocks together, I realized I didn't do a whole lot of, I didn't use enough variety. Pamela Tabor, she says, hello, T and everyone. Hi, Pamela, welcome. So again, I'm just making four patches right now, and then I'll be starting to sew these together. And maybe I should move the camera so you can see, but then it's gonna cause some jerkiness. <laughs> Let's see, let me move my birthday blocks. I'll just sit them there for a minute. So I haven't, um, I haven't cleaned up from getting the blocks from Wednesday open, so these packages are still here. I think they've been entered in the computer though, so I can document who number is whose. <laughs> okay. Got my camera here. All right, let's see if I, I may have to put you on a different stand though. <laughs> Got so many different stands for depending on where I'm putting the camera. So hold on, it's gonna get a little jerky. So that way, hopefully you can see some of what I'm sewing, hopefully. <laughs> it's not showing much. All right, that's about all I can get to show. <laughs> so these are all ones I've sewed. I'm working on this stack here. And let me see if anybody else has said anything. Francesca, what are you doing up? <laughs> she says, hi, T. Who wants to clean between projects? Not me. <laughs> Jennifer Massard is up. She says, hi, T. Happy to run across you tonight. I'm hand sewing the holes in memory, bare arms, legs, and backs after stuffing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thinking of sewing not necessarily what you're doing but i have somebody who wanted me to mend an antique quilt and i temporarily took the quilt because it was at the time of a family member passing and i didn't want to say no but it's been about four or five years now and i'm about ready to pass it back so that i can um so she can have somebody else do it. I know somebody that does do it, but of course she'll have to pay for it. Um, I don't do mending. I don't mend my clothes. <laughs> I don't, I'll make a whole new outfit before I mend one. So I don't mend, but I, I didn't have the heart to tell her because she asked me like maybe three or four days after the person passed. So I'm just gonna get it back to her. Hopefully next Saturday and uh, be done with that quilt. I'm gonna do hand work, it won't be mending. For those of you that came in late, I'm actually working on the sew along um, on my Facebook page. This is what it looks like, the Christmas sew along that we're working on. So I am behind and I have just posted these instructions in the Facebook group. It's too late to get into the Facebook group because I don't have time to answer all the questions that people are gonna ask. Um, so, but I just thought that I would come on here and sew. It's pretty simple block. You can kind of see what I'm doing. Francesca says, T, I'm a night person. Me too. The only problem is when I'm a night person and then I have appointments that I have to go to at 8 and 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm struggling. <laughs> like taking the dog to the groomer, that's an issue. <laughs> I slept right through my alarm one time. I say the same thing, T. And then we've got Dora Camarina here. She says, hi, T from California. Good to see you. 
Yeah, I thought I would come on here and do another video. Since I'm in here sewing, nothing else is going on. She says, Pamela's saying, I say the same thing. I will make an outfit before I mend. And then Sylvia is here. Hi, Sylvia. Welcome. I'm just here doing some sewing. Nothing major. If you all got questions or anything, of course, you can post those in the chat box. And then as I read them, I will acknowledge those. But I don't have any topic. I've just had a very busy Saturday, that's all. I went trying to find a Lazy Susan that I have. I have one of those old-fashioned wooden Lazy Susans that I wanted to make into a HTV stand. And I searched the garage, I've searched the house, and I can't find it. And I'm thinking I must have given it to someone. I don't think I have it anymore. Sure, nothing else has come on. We've got Trisha Haratello. Hi from California. Hi, Trisha. Welcome. Anyone reading any good books? haven't read in like sadly in years like I use my iPad for games and reading and YouTube recording and I have not read even though I've got books on my iPad I have not read I don't know what's up with that because I used to read a book a day from Argentina that's from Sylvia wow <laughs> what's your time Sylvia it's 10 p.m. here Pamela said you may have already said but what is the pattern that you're working on? It's from the sew along that's on my Facebook page. So if you got in the sew along, it's in that group. Otherwise, this will not be on YouTube other than me sewing on it today. I'll show it again. I just showed it, but I'll show it again when I get through this stack. Pieces. And I'm sewing um, the pieces together. Right now, I only need to use one pin because my other two seams go the opposite direction. So that's cool. I just had to match up in my center area here. At the corner, I got a match, but I'm sewing it first. So that works very well. done any more work on the embroidery blocks that are on my design wall haven't had time I had edited I forgot to release a video today I edited two videos released one I just got to do some fine-tuning on the YouTube side before I release the second one that's what I forgot to do today on Sashiko Oh my, okay, so she says it's 12 a.m. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. That's in Argentina. Okay, so I've got this stack done. I have another stack here. I gotta sew together. Let's see. 
So the only thing that I'm doing is, is like when before I pin them, I'm trying to make sure that I don't have the same prints, like the same red and green fabrics touching. And that's the only thing I'm watching for. I use this pattern to get rid of a lot of my old Christmas fabrics. And then once I cut it, I gave the scraps away to one of my YouTubers, and that's been a year or two ago. This quilt is very old. I was, I'm just sick of looking at these fabrics. So now I just pin my center seams to match. The rest of them I can match as I go. They're either opposing seams or they're at the corner where I can match them when I start. See, like these two here have the same red, then I wouldn't put those together. I'll just go down and get another one. Got Phyllis G here. Welcome, Phyllis. And Francesca says, if you ever want to talk about quilting motifs versus pattern, it would be great. Okay. <laughs> uh, Rhonda says, hi, Miss T, listening to books while I sew. Okay, so you use Audible. I have not signed up for that or signed up for any. I know the library probably have some too. Let me show this pattern for Rhonda. I forgot. <laughs> Here it is. This is what I'm sewing right now. Some of these. And they're all just scrappy Christmas quilt prints that I was sick of seeing in my stash. Trying to get rid of them. I have a Christmas snowman quilt for my on my bed at Christmas. And it's by the Stitch Connection. It's an applique. And they brought um, the appliques are starting to get a little worn so I don't want the quilt to become complete mush because I really do like it so I thought oh I need to make another quilt and last year when I brought it out I said okay you got to get this quilt done we're not putting it on the bed next year so that's why I'm trying to get this done before Christmas this year Gross Walls is here. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Darnell J. I'm assuming. Is here. Hi T from District Heights, Maryland. Hi, welcome to the chat. <laughs> Gross Wall says hi T and everyone. Oh, that is looking pretty. Thank you so much. And Gross, are you in the sew along group? We've got Michelle Fox. She says, first time I get to watch you, I'm excited. So, uh, Michelle, we don't have a topic today, but if you got some questions, you can go right ahead and ask. I'll try to answer, answer them as I get to them. Or as I see them. Hmm. just noticed I've got a scab on my hand it's amazing how the stuff I used to bounce off of you know how you hit something or bump into something and then you go on about your merry business well now days later I end up with a scab and now I can't remember how it happened <laughs> it's the only reason I know it's there is because it's tightening my skin because it's healing Michelle says, I'm so busy watching you. <laughs> huge smile, my huge smile. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, that's one of the happy things about being retired. <laughs> I don't have any stress. I try not to let things get to me. When you working 40 hours plus week, plus hours a week, at somebody's job, you're bound to come across somebody that's gonna give you some stress. So I work hard not to have that in my house. 
And it's so funny, uh, once I retired, also, when things happen, like when I'm at the store and, and weird little stuff happen, people, somebody get in front of me in line like I'm invisible, I don't even say anything because I, I say to myself, you're going back home and you don't have to put up with this all the time. <laughs> so, I try to always look at the positive side of whatever's going on. Rose says, yes, I am in the group, but not doing it, though I want to, though I do want to one of these days. Yeah, because I had, it's actually two different sew-alongs in that group. The second one I'm not doing, but I did that one for people that didn't want to do this one. It has, um, it's four patches and strings. So, and I did the sew along because on YouTube, well, you know, getting written instructions and so that people could share their progress. But I haven't been like, I've been so busy, I haven't been really posting on a regular schedule in there. I never said I was going to post on a regular schedule, but I haven't posted either on a regular schedule. So I put out some instructions. Was it yesterday or today? I can't remember. Maybe yesterday. It was yesterday. And uh, I haven't even saw any instructions, so this is my incentive to get that step done. Otherwise, I'm going to be behind on my own sew alone. <laughs> but I do want this quilt top done this year. Trying to figure out why do I have more of one side than I have of the other. <laughs> Something, it's a mystery. Now I gotta count. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Maybe I left them because I was at my at my desk working on the pattern. Maybe they're in there. But I'm missing the three pieces that get sewn onto these. <laughs> Mystery. All right, so I'll be finding three more and sewing them back together. <laughs> So let's see. Got <laughs> Gloom is here <laughs> as a creeper. <laughs> so we'll get rid of Groom. <laughs> Tiffany's quilt life is here. She says hi T. Hi Tiffany. I'm surprised you're up. <laughs> Uh, she says hi to everyone. Michelle Fox says hi. Phyllis G says, I'm reading Becoming by Michelle Obama. I need to read that. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> Jennifer Mazar. She says, see, I guess you should have cleaned up. I'm pretty clean right now. I think what happened, because I just typed the instructions, I think they must be by my desktop. Uh, computer. I must have laid them out there to take pictures and then didn't 
put them back into the container. <laughs> but that is a good incentive to clean. Trisha says, I don't have, I have a panel that I bought and I don't know what kind of blocks to use with it. What do you suggest I do or where do I look for ideas? Um, I can't tell you because I can't see the panel, but I always think that four patches look pretty good. If you have, you don't have any fabric from that same line, then I would just use something that's more, that will coordinate it with it more on a tone on tone level maybe. I do wanna not get these two stacks mixed up. <laughs> I got all of that one stack. I don't know why I'm missing three. I do have extra pieces because I knew I was giving the fabric away. And just in case, I made extra of these, uh, they're called shaded four patch blocks. <clears throat> so I made some extra ones in case I ran out or if I needed some more, so I have some extra ones here. But I'm hoping that I didn't miscount and that they are at my other desk. Um, Tiffany says, I got out of the pool and took my meds and grabbed my phone and seen you're on. Pamela says, hey, folks, got to go. I need to get clothes ready for church tomorrow. Everyone have a wonderful Sunday. Bye, Pamela. <clears throat> and what else can you use with? Um, so four patches would be really good with the, with the blocks, with the panel, because it doesn't stipulate any kind of a pattern. But if you've got a panel that has like stars or something in it, then you can make like little mini star blocks to go around it. So it just depends on what's in your panel. If it's anything quilt related that would resemble what's in your pan panel, then you can most definitely add that as a border element. I don't tend to buy a lot of the fabrics that go with panels. I do it every now and then, not a lot. So I just, try to find more solid looking fabrics to go with them. And uh, Jacob is here, says I just found this channel. Hi Jacob, welcome. Do you quilt Jacob? Bye, Michelle. <laughs> she says the panel is of trains and they are different sizes. I have sewn a two inch strip around each block. And she says it's for her father. I always say depends on the panel. And that's what Tiffany is saying as well. Yes, it just depends. So I don't know if you've got like an AccuQuilt Acu die called Chisels. That looks good as a border as well. And if you've got the trains, it's kind of rectangular, but has a diagonal seam that connects the two. That would be cute as well as a border. And you can even put that so that it's long ways. The chisel is finished at three by six and you can make it so that the six inch makes it wide. 
Uh, we've got Quilt Gal here saying hi, T. Hi, welcome to the chat. Donnell says three to five piece fence rail. Maybe, maybe an idea. That's a good idea too. So thank you for sharing. That's why I like the chats. Oh, she says, uh, Michelle says, I'm here, not leaving. I'm watching. Okay, I thought you were saying me too when Pam said she had to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> she says, I'm, I'm in quilting school and I'm kind of new to your quilting, so I'll enjoy listening to you. Well, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. But it's so much you can do with the panels. Even if you didn't want to do a lot of piecing, you could do, like, different widths of borders. So if you've got a two inch one on there now, you can maybe put a one inch one in a dark color that will pop and then put something in the middle and then add another one inch strip. Just having different widths of borders will make it look really nice as well. You don't have to do a lot of piecing. can't remember what year I actually started working on this quilt, but I know I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of looking at the fabric. I actually had it sewn together in a different configuration and I didn't like it, so I never finished it. So, Tiffany says, I use curved log cabin around my husband's panel and it was a while. But the last one I did was plain borders around a pinwheel border around the panel. So, and you're welcome, Tricia. You got some good ideas and you can go elaborate or just simple. Plain borders are good too. Sometimes, depending on what the panel is, it might actually take away from the panel on the inside, which is your whole theme. So. I was hoping, well, I do have an iron in here. I guess I could iron them. I'm hoping I'm not going to be up too late tonight. Like maybe midnight go to bed. Because <laughs> I do have to get up early tomorrow. Uh, Tiffany is asking, what kind of machine is this? It's actually a... Baby Lock Elagio, it's a embroidery machine. And it's one of those embroidery machines that actually run on floppy disk. And what's so weird is that I was on the Facebook marketplace and saw someone in Illinois trying to sell one. I thought the price was pretty high, but <laughs> she was trying to sell it. But if you don't have floppy disk, then you can't get your embroidery designs to the machine. You can stitch the designs that are in the machine, but if you've got other designs you're trying to get to this machine, you need to have a floppy disk. At least the one I have does. I don't know if they have a different version that doesn't have the floppy disk. So when I bought this machine, I also purchased an external floppy disk drive. So that way I would always have one. So it's not obsolete for me. Anybody else reading any good books? <laughs> I need to get the Michelle Obama book. Hold on, let me go back. 
Tiffany says, oh, she asked about the machine. So hi, watching from the UK. That's Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Welcome. I'm just sewing today. I'm not really doing a whole lot. Tiffany says, I noticed the things all on the side. It looks way different. You notice the things all on the side. It looks way different. Like this here. Yeah, it's a baby locky Lagio. I don't know what they look like on the other end. <laughs> and I've seen some, like mine's is all white right here, the same color. And I've seen some where they were like a silver color. So maybe they are different. <laughs> Jennifer says, these barrels are done, so I'm headed to bed. Tomorrow is a long flea market day. Love you, sweet friend. Night, y'all. Bye, Jennifer. See ya. Have fun tomorrow. She talking about that is old with the floppy. Wow. <laughs> Let me show you. For those that don't know, you can get these things. So I have a Sony uh, disc reader. And I don't think I have a disc in here. Let me see if one's in the machine by any chance. Yeah, but this is what this machine runs on. And if you can't uh, save, you know, then your machine is obsolete other than what's already built into the machine. But I do like that I was able to, when I got the machine, I said, girl, you better go buy you an external drive. So if this goes out, you can still get your data to the machine. So that's what I did. I'll put that back. I don't know what's on there. And see, when I machine embroider and I'm doing like in the hoop items, and they have like you do two different uh, sew steps, and I'm doing like more than one project, then I'll set up both of my machines. One machine will have one step, and the, up, the other machine would have the second step. So I do use it still as an embroidery machine, but not much. Uh, LA is reading the goldfinch just saw it's being made into a movie okay I'll just come back and watch this live and anybody give any good book ideas I'll write them down by now I should be able to get Michelle Obama's book from the library <laughs> instead of purchasing it get a little stubborn so I have to wait to get an embroidery machine but I really want one my friends tease me sharing embroidery stuff that looks so awesome <laughs> yeah I just would well I would at least get something that you can at least do a 6 by 10 setting because the first one I got well, my first one wasn't actually bad for me. It was five by nine, but the brand was bad. I bought the Singer brand with the and the software was very difficult to learn. Although I did learn it, but it never became a staple and Singer never invested in it as well. And hence, when the company got sold, you don't even hear much about singer embroidery like you used to other than the future machines at Joann's and they're just all whatever's built in so so I had that's when I left the singer line of machines and went to baby lock because their digitizing was so so hard to learn and then like say you did you learn something this month and come back next month you have it was like starting over again because it wasn't based on even how regular windows operate it was just no fun
up because I went over the pin. <laughs> Y'all notice I'm using my knee lift. I swear by those. by the time I can afford one because I bought a long arm instead exactly because <laughs> the price of em embroidery machines are ridiculous and uh, she said embroidery machines will be all computer everything and I'm not a computer person yep you are exactly correct I don't think that I would even buy an expensive embroidery machine I would buy a low level one that would just give me the size frame I want to stitch in so that I'm not limited to designs and that's why I say at least a 6 by 10 they do have larger hoops out depending on the brand you're purchasing but yeah at least a 6 by 10 and just get a basic embroidery machine it don't need all those bells and whistles If you get one that take like a USB or plug in from your laptop to your machine, it's great too because then you don't even have to transfer designs. If you put it on a laptop, then you just plug your laptop into the machine. That's what the Elisimo does. We're done with this step. <laughs> she says she mainly wants one for doing custom quilt la labels and that's the main thing that I use my embroidery machine for hence is why I did this project back here I'm like girl you got to show more than quilt labels <laughs> I do have a lot of embroidery projects though I just haven't done anything recent so I have a quilt lecture on it coming up next month okay Got to figure out where my three missing pieces are at some point. But in the interim, I was trying to find something that I had like crumbs or scraps to get my piece off. Just sew on anything. cleaned up so good I cleaned up all of my half square triangle pieces I normally keep by my machine these are the ones I found as I was going through other stuff but they're not necessarily meant to go together <laughs> all right so I got two stacks of these now so I gotta press the seams one stack here Another one there. I got a new steam fast iron. The last one I had, it leaked water. So I went and got another one. So let's see what this one does. Got a little bitty spout though. I'm wondering what is the humming noise my massage unit had come on, my massage pillow. Got this little dainty cup. <laughs> and then it came on again. I guess my wheel is hitting it. Oops. So 
Oh, it took more water. It took less water than what this thing would hold. <laughs> so I got a mess. <laughs> Okay, have a dusting towel here. We'll clean up this water. <laughs> and now cut this iron on. So let's see. Diane Wells is here. Welcome. She says, watching from Texas, welcome. We got a lot of people from Texas in here and California. <laughs> uh, Catherine Duick, I guess. I'm, no, I, I know I just butchered your name, I'm sorry. She says, hello T, what are you doing up so late? It's nearly midnight here in Ontario. Yes, it's almost 11 o'clock, 10.53 p.m. I'm hoping I'm in bed by 12 so that I can get up early and do everything I got to do. Cherie from Topic Studio says, Hi, Miss T. Sorry I'm late. Greetings from Australia. Welcome. You're not ever late. You just come in when you come in. Vicki Lemire is here. She's saying hello. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Melinda C. Quick gal is here. She says, I found that iron in Walmart for $12.99. Love it. Yeah, it's a new style now because when you put this up, they have a push button on here that you have to press in before you store it once you take your water out. Now, what's that all about? I have no idea. This is my first time using it. And... Uh, yeah, so we're going to see. This is my first time, and I'm just ironing on a one of those ironing pads. I got it doubled because I didn't want to have to run back to my sewing room. For those that are just coming in, I'm sewing on the Christmas sew. I'm working on the Christmas sew along, trying to make this unit here so that I can be caught up on the instructions that I just posted yesterday, Friday. So, yeah, and I'm using the strip stick right here from Babs Enterprises. And I'm going to press my seams open on it. And I'm not, I normally do this with my regular iron, so not sure if this is going to work with this sunbeam, but I'm hoping I can just put this tip in here and ride down the tip. I gotta use my finger on it, but that's, it's still nice to have a little small iron that I don't have to go to my big ironing board to press these, so. And all I wanna press is just the seam. Everything else has been pressed nice and flat. So this is what I'm working on. And I just press that seam open. <clears throat> I tend to always press flat. I don't know if setting the seam makes any difference or not, but it's just a habit. I don't think that the quilt police should get involved if you don't. <laughs> and I don't have my, uh, I normally have like a finger grip that's heat resistant that I put on my hand. I don't have it here though. Trying to make sure I sit these all in the same direction. <laughs> Miss something here. Okay, Dama Lee. Getting ready for bed. Oh, Domily, I thought it was Darnell. I'm sorry. I can't see. <laughs> sorry, Domily. She says, getting ready for bed, going to praise the Lord tomorrow. Good night to everyone. Exactly. That's the first thing I got to do when I get up. Ruth says, night is early, 5 a.m. I better get some sleep. Wow, Ruth has already pulled an all-nighter. <laughs> 
Good night, Ruth. She says, warning, the seam just helps open to lay flat when pressing. Okay. Okay. So it's just one of those habits I had from when I was doing dressmaking. So I just carried it over to my quilting as well. Sometimes I'll lay it flat and go right back over it. Sometimes I don't. Like for these, I just really need the seam press. That's it. I've got plenty or had plenty of starch when I cut these out years ago. <laughs> And you all are looking at the white rack that I normally have my iPad sitting on top of. So that's why it's in the screen. Because I just moved it. So you can see me pressing. As much as you can see. I can't get down too far. Nice bright colors. Thank you. These are all of those old Christmas fabrics that... The quilt shops and even Joann's used to sell years ago that they just kept coming out with the same prints every year. So at that point, you didn't even have to worry about running out of fabric because they only had about 20 to 40 different Christmas prints. So that's why I don't like it and I want to get it finished. I, I'm going to like it when it's done. I just don't like the fabrics and I don't like it in this ufo stage so i want it out of this stage i am gonna like the pattern now <laughs> i didn't like the one i had before hence is why i took all of these blocks apart and i'm re-sewing them back together found a pin And this machine here is the Elysimo, the original Elysimo that came out. They then came out with an Elysimo 2. But I, I said I was done because when they came out with the Elysimo, they told that tale about this will be the last embroidery machine that you'll have to buy. <laughs> Because since it's all can be computer updated, that they would do all the updates, and that would be it. And I can't remember if this machine was 4000 or 7000 I can't remember when it came out. So they told that tale. I bought like maybe two. They had two upgrades. I think I bought two of them. I think they had four upgrades. I think I bought two. I don't think I have the other ones because I felt like I wasn't going to be doing that type of sewing for those other upgrades. And then they came out with the Elissimo 2. Said, oh, okay. And now they've got the Destiny <laughs> and the Destiny 2. And I'm sure they've got plenty of other machines since, but I'm not paying attention because. Until these machines fall apart, I have to not have either one of these embroidery machines break for me to buy another machine. That would be the only reason I would buy a machine brand new. This iron is nice. It fits right in the palm of your hand really nice. So if you don't have one of these Sunbeam irons, I would really recommend it. I actually just got mines on Amazon. 
and it's called, let me see. <laughs> This is what the box says right here for those of you that haven't seen it and it's even got a travel bag included I just opened it well I opened it when I got it got the instruction book as well but you don't need that but it also has a little storage bag as well so I'll be putting it in the bag once it cools So now I got to clean up before I go to bed because I'm dropping stuff on the floor. <laughs> but I got to pick that up because I got to put the iron up. So just can't do another project till I clean up this one. As I was saying, I have a, I got a big t-shirt order. We're having a quilt gill show. We're having a quilt gill quilt show in September. I'm in charge of the vendor, so I'm also working with that. But in addition to that, I wore a shirt that I made for uh, our quilt show. And I, I gave the quilt show chairperson one for free. And then I had some other people at the gill wanting one of the shirts so i've got about 20 shirts or so to make i've lost count of the number but i already have i have i had to order white glitter not white glitter silver glitter ht not silver red glitter htv <laughs> see i need to go to bed huh so my steam is already gone It lasted for about 15 seams, maybe. So that was pretty good. Still got just a little, but it's not the same. And um, I'm waiting on the red glitter to come in. So I made a, a stall and then I ordered it Thursday night so they got the order Friday and they sent me a ship notification today saying that I'll get it next Thursday I'm like wow that's a long time they normally ship stuff a lot faster so and then of course you got to wait for your carrier to deliver it most times my stuff comes at the end of the day so that means I won't have any time to work on it probably Thursday either because I have other plans. But yeah, so I'm really excited about that. I appreciate when people order their shirts from me. I haven't looked at the comments in a minute. I'm not sure if anything's been popping up. Our urn is stacked that I've already set the seam and then I'll come back. I'm gonna have to cut I guess I'm gonna have to cut this iron off so I can put some more water in here <laughs> it's so little I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off <laughs> we don't want to destroy it right away I know a lot of people don't use steam but I like it got four more in this batch try some more water but don't 
Is there a max line on here? No, they should have one because it don't take the whole... <laughs> The whole thing doesn't go in there because it'll run over. We'll go down a little bit. This might be too much. It's got some little dark marks on it from where the card was around it, though. See those little marks? The card, This card was wrapped around it for storage, so it took some of that. <clears throat> Some water in here and not let it run over this time cut this back on see if anybody has come in while I wait for that let's see <laughs> oh my that's a lot of work but if it helps you like it there's value in it yep it's about getting value for your money isn't it yeah <laughs> for this machine it's like you know you pay for them for a long time I think that's what she's talking about when I gave the price on the machine Michelle says I like the little arm better than my bigger one exactly this fits so perfect in the hand and it's really light it's not heavy um, Helen Thomas is here. Hi, Helen. <laughs> she says, I'm totally surprised to see you on tonight. I will be checking out that iron. Really like it. Vicky says, son, just dropped off 30 peaches. Woo, I've been eating peaches all week. I got some. I guess I bought them at Sam's Club, and they were pretty good, but they came from Eckers, which is one of the farms close by in Illinois. So I love peaches. I'm trying to get rid of them, though, because as soon as I bought the peaches in the house, I got all kind of fruit flies now I'm, I'm trying to get rid of. Tiffany's Quilting Light says, I have a mini row winter iron, but the handle broke, so now I have no clue how to use it without the handle. And I had the little mini row winter iron. I wasn't really, really impressed. That's why I went back and bought the this one here. My friend gave it to me as a birthday gift, and it, it's okay. It doesn't get really hot. Vicky says, granddaughter loved the dress and quilt so far. Just blocks. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool when you can get young people involved in the quilting too. June Hansen is here. Hi, June. Welcome. She says, hi, Miss T and everyone. June says, I was surprised to see you on. I was watching an older of yours on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Are you ironing on an ironing board or on an ironing rod? You may have shown it already. I did. I'm actually ironing. I used to sell these for this company because none of the quilt stores would stock them at one point. But they are a press board and it's called the Strip Stick. And it's by Bab, B-A-B-B -B Enterprises. And the information is right here. And whenever I do my lectures, I always take two or three of these in so that people can use them. Because uh, sometimes I don't press all of my seams open. And they even use this for when they're pressing strip sets. They use this to press the seam even into one direction. It keeps it from bowing. Now, I have not used it in that manner. But uh, you can see that mine are well used. Not just from my classes, but I use them a lot myself. So this is probably one of the first ones I put in service. It's really worn. But I just love it. It makes it so that it has memory and I can have these blocks sit for years and that seam will stay open it's gonna be still nice and flat I have examples that I take when I go to my lectures and I show it 
that I haven't even touched the seam in years, probably 10 years, and the seam is still pressed open. So that's what I'm using. Working on the Christmas Sew Along, the Shaded 4 Patch. That's the one I'm working on. I wanted to do the Christmas string ones too. I thought I was going to be really good and do both. But I knew at the first month I wasn't going to be able to do it. <laughs> I didn't even pull fabrics for it. And we even had said that you didn't even have to use Christmas fabrics if you didn't want to. You could use any fabrics too. And I also, I'm not just the strip stick. I do have an ironing pad down here too because to catch the steam, I'm actually ironing on top of my Brooklyn revolver. I, I didn't even move it. Which I also need a new Brooklyn revolver. I'm wearing the surface off of it. Anybody know how I can fix that? <laughs> I seriously doubt it, but... Let me show you what I'm talking about. Oops, I got something turned wrong way up here. That one. I, I've used my Brooklyn revolver so much that I've worn out the center. See that? And when I cut on it now, when it gets to these spots, it won't trim on them. It'll just have it skip like I got a bad rotary cutter. But I love it. I may have to break down and buy another one. They they so expensive. <laughs> Alright, so that's one stack. Got the second stack here. Bye, Rose. She says I have a... Oh, she says I had to go look. I have that little iron, too, and I do love it. Okay. I thought she was saying she had to go. <laughs> um, Trying to make sure I didn't miss anything before that. Cherie says I have almost finished cutting for the Monet Double Redding Wing. I made that, made it in a small version that she had in American Quilter magazine, and uh, it was so much fun. I had wanted to make the big one, but when she came out with the small one that was in rainbow, I made that one instead. It is so pretty. Um, Rose says, but I use a spray mister instead of trying to fill water. Not quite the same as steam, but it is what it is. It probably is best for the iron too, June. Tiffany says, I'm having me some apple cinnamon oatmeal. I hope my belly accepts it because I'm annoyed of my belly issues not being able to eat. Oh, hope you feel better. I was wondering what you were pressing on, <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> okay, I like that as well. It's easy to see why the seams will remain open. Is that a Brooklyn re is a Brooklyn revolver or gun? <laughs> yes, it is, but that's not what I'm using. <laughs> she 
says, oh, I've never seen one of those. Yeah, and I the only I do like the square ones if you're squaring up like 12-inch blocks or bigger. But I like the small one for paper piecing when I'm doing a whole lot of trimming in between sewing. I love the round one because it takes up less desk space. Uh, Carolyn Bowser is here. Hi, Carolyn. She says, T, I tried to locate your P.O. box to mail my birthday block. It should be in the bottom of any of my YouTube videos in the description box, not the comment, the description box. But it is 11001 Dunklin. And I don't have my keypad attached. Hold on, let me see. I don't think I can comment. And I don't have my phone in here, but 11001 Dunklin Drive. Dunklin is D U N K L I N Drive. St. Louis Mo. No. After Dunklin Drive, put 38205. That's my P.O. box. Then it's St. Louis Mo. Zip code is 63138. Thank you, Rose, because I don't have anything to type with. <laughs> and my iPad doesn't have a comment box here. Thank you so much. But it should be at the bottom of any of my YouTube videos in the description box. And June says, that is much bigger than the one I have. I have the little diamond shape, and I don't have any steam. You're talking about on the iron, I guess. So she's, it must be a different brand. Okay. Carlin says, I have one of those little irons, and can I get it to work properly? How do you work with it? You know, I just took this out the box. I just got it. It's brand new. But when I read, they had a label on top of here. And there's this push button here, and they said when I get ready to store this iron, I need to make sure that I push this button down. I don't know why, but I will make sure that I push this button down. And then other than that, I just turned it on after I put water in here. So it's very simple to me. And they got a max fill line, but it doesn't take much water. But yeah, so I love it so far. It's a little bit smaller than the other one that I had, the blue one. Remember the blue one was the first one that came out? Little tra They called them little travel irons. And that one worked really well, and then I dropped it. It still heats really good, but I can't put water in it. It just runs right out. So I use it for applique now. I sure hope you received my birthday block tea. That's Karen. Um, you know, I got like three out of my P.O. box. I went about seven o'clock tonight. <laughs> and I didn't look at the names. I got three birthday blocks and I got somebody signing up. It looks like somebody signing up as a retreat person. So I'll announce all of those on Wednesday. I don't have all of them in here because I try to get them into my computer. Put, I put everybody's name and a number so when I do the drawing, I'll know who won the drawing. So I try to do that at the computer before I bring them in here. Let's see what else. And thank you so much, but I will most definitely let you know when it comes. And if you've already mailed it, then it should most definitely be in the Wednesday Live when I go and show it. So, Shabri <laughs> uh, says, don't forget to help T out by clicking the thumbs up to like the stream. Thank you, Sheree. I appreciate that. 
Now, you know, I'm really lost now because I'm on the, <laughs> well, I'm only, I'm not on my thing. I'm actually recording. So I am not, I'm not able to like it. So I can't help you out tonight with where it's at. I had to learn it last week with the help of you guys. <laughs> So once I get all of these pressed, then I got to sew these two units together. And let me see how long it, what time it is. It's 11.22. I'm trying to leave out of here by midnight. <laughs> so we'll see what I get done in that time. Maybe I'll get them sewn, but not pressed. And I hope I can pour this water back out into that little bitty container they gave me, if I have any left in here. I may have to put more water in to finish these blocks because I got about 15 of them done. I got 24 of each kind. I already had one sold for 25. And I've been pressing for a while, so water and a little bitty iron. That's the only thing with a small iron. If you use steam, your water runs out. Let me move this plastic bag out the way. I have some pieces in there. It's getting wet from the steam. <laughs> Any more comments? I haven't been looking. <laughs> Tiffany says she's back. I had to look at something for someone online. It won't let me use this and Google at the same time. Okay. Uh, June says on my tablet, I have an X in the upper right corner. Click on it and you can, and it will take you out of chat and then hit thumbs up and then come back. Wait a minute. Because I can't do it. And then hit thumbs up and then hit the live chat and you're back in. Ta-da. Okay, thanks. Because I think you were helping, helping before. I can't do that because if I hit that thing, it's going to take me out of the live. So that's what you all do if you're on a tablet. And if you're on a desktop, you just minimize your window you see the chat box on your right and then you can just click the thumbs up t try using a pump pack water bottle you can just squeeze in what you need as often as you want then yeah i have i have had those and i tend to recycle bottles i had that water bottle from probably purchasing a drink and I just like the size of it and I kept it. My uh, pump bottle actually broke. I had one of those squeeze bottles. It just finally had its life and I've been using that. But that's a good tip too. I'm just using what I got. <laughs> I actually like that big water bottle. I can put a lot of water in there. Like on my large iron, I can fill up my large iron at least three times, maybe four, before I have to go get more water. And then I also have... <laughs> I had got that bottle too because I have to use the steel water in my uh, steam generator when I do my t-shirt quilts. 
So it takes only distilled water. So I needed a large bottle. But I didn't want to carry around that gallon jug of distilled water. But this is just plain water in here. I didn't use distilled water in here. I didn't even read it to see what they want for the water. In Missouri, we have pretty good water, so I don't worry about it as much here, but if on that steam generator, since it costs so much money, I make sure that I put it in there. Put the steel water in the steam generator. Yeah, getting close. <laughs> Got this many more to press. I don't think I'm gonna be sewing them now. <laughs> I was trying to look to see if I had my t-shirt order form in here and I don't I can't remember how many people ordered shirts <laughs> but I made 26 designs for the one part that I do have I had product for that part so I have 26 designs ready to go when I get the red glitter HTV and then I can print those off and weed them so I like working on jobs and batches it makes it seems like it's no big deal when i get the final product done i was trying to i haven't taken the shirts out of storage since my prop my uh red's not gonna show up until thursday i probably won't need them until saturday because i gotta print all the red ones and then weed them and i'll probably do that on friday One more to go. I just heard my husband. He's he walking around. <laughs> Probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> and I noticed that this live is a whole lot better late at night than it is at 7 p.m. too. We haven't had any. I haven't seen any buffering. Have you all seen buffering? I haven't seen any. Let's see what's going on in here. June says, I have really hard water, so I always use the steel water, hoping my iron will last longer. Yes, indeed. Eric Oda is up. <laughs> Hi, Eric. Well, it's not as late for you. <laughs> Okay, great. Thank you, Cherie. She says it's not buffering at all. So at 7 p.m. is a high internet usage time for people anyway. <laughs> Eric says, now what is she doing? I'm working on the Christmas sew-along in my tea quilts sew-along group. So I am uh, trying to work on the step that I just posted because I hadn't even done it myself. I'm so behind, but I want this quilt done this year. Quilted and all. I got a couple more blocks to press, and then I'll show you in a second. What is Tiffany doing? Somebody's telling Tiffany, oh, be careful. Thanks, Michelle. She says, no buffering either. Watching from Central North New York. I'm always up late. Yes, and you've, uh, you're an hour ahead of me. <laughs> no buffering from Melinda. Well, thank you. So, yeah, it's weird how it's not doing any of that crazy stuff that I get at 7 p.m. So, 
So it just must be internet usage in our area that's causing that. And maybe now it's Friday night. You know, all the people are out partying. <laughs> well, Saturday night. It's not Friday night. It's Saturday night. That's why I'm going to go to bed at 12. So I can get up and be of sound mind. Okay. All right, this is what I'm working on right here. Shaded four patch blocks for the sew along. This is the next step. Okay. So this is my dilemma now. I'm three blocks short over here. Don't know what I did with them. And I can't put these two sets together because I want to make sure I'm not that I've mixed them up very well. So this is stack one. This is stack two, but I got three extra blocks I need to figure out. So maybe I'll just stop here. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Let me turn this iron off because I'm done pressing for tonight. They might be at my iron area. I haven't read the instructions because you know how I do. I just start using stuff. <laughs> I'm going to take out any water that's left, and then I'm going to press this button down. So there isn't any, there wasn't much, just some droplets. Okay, I'm going to press this button they told me to press before I store. Now, it's, this iron is hot, and this button won't stay down. Now it did. So when I first did it, it was too hot. It wouldn't even stay down. And I pressed it to see if any more water would come out. So no more water came out. But I did knock it out of the cup. The little droplets. So I'm just going to let this cool. Unplug it. And I guess I won't be putting it up anyway. Because I'll be back here tomorrow. It's got the... Look at those red prints. <laughs> it's on the back of my iron. That's from me pressing hard on that press stick. Hmm. I just still can't believe I'm missing pieces. Every time I did a step, I made sure to count, you know. This is the other part, the other step. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't put it in the bottom. Nope, these are just pieces. other steps I've done already so I just need these need to even be pressed but I'm not going to do that tonight Make sure they didn't fall on the floor in here now. <laughs> See if they're on the other side. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go check my desktop.
Okay. And make sure I turn them the right direction. And now I need to make sure, see when you get to the last pieces, you gotta make sure none of them are having the same fabrics touching. All right, did a good job. At least I found them. I kind of figured they were at my desktop because I was taking photos. Like, I can't even go to the next step because I need to sew these together. <laughs> That's our quilt show on that song, Eric. <laughs> and the one that I taught the quilters the line dance to. Um, wait a minute. Audrey Rathburn says, is that a Christmas quilt tee? Yes, it is. It's part of the tea quilt sew along group that we're working on. But I want to go back to some other comments just in case. <laughs> Rose says, that's one thing I would never be of is sound mind. Cherie says, so T, you don't want to turn into a pumpkin by not being in bed by midnight? Exactly. I just know uh, if I don't get in bed and then I have to get up early in the morning, I'm not grumpy or anything, but it's just that I can't stop yawning. Uh... Cherie says it's only 2.30 p.m. here. Wow. She says, but it's Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I did say Friday, but I corrected it, Eric. Um, <laughs> Eric is funny. He says, I thought I was drunk. <laughs> Because I walked into the wall. It was just a minor earthquake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's in California. Then I thought I hit my head because I got the message T was live. Now I'm not crazy. I know I'm not crazy. Okay. Yeah, Eric is fun. I had a good time with Eric last year. Eric, we going. <laughs> Eric, are we going to Houston again? <laughs> Cherie says it's time to sing a song. <laughs> June says she has family in San Diego. Oh, thanks, bro. She says I'm oh, great. Glad you found them. Carolyn says good thing I checked my email and I saw I noticed you were on live chat. <laughs> And now Eric is singing, do you remember? That's when we, we did sing that a little bit at the quilt show last November. So if you want to see us clowning, go look at the quilt show, the International Quilt Festival in Houston show. It was in November of last year. We were singing September, sort of, kind of. <laughs> Oh, Eric can't go to Houston this year. He has to go home to Hawaii. My friend, um, Kevin, he wants to go to Houston this year. So we're trying to figure out what we're going to do. And Sharice says she's already seen it and says, you had a great time. He says, but next year, Audit Festival... Oh, yeah, next year, Quilt Festival in Long Beach. Come on over. You talking about the one that's normally in Rosemont, Illinois? It's moving to Long Beach? That's going to be interesting. Now that I've turned my iron off, now I'm back to sewing these blocks. <laughs> 
You gotta make sure the same match up. I'm just glad I found them because as much as I've been working on this quilt top, I don't want to have to stitch another thing again after I took the whole top loose because I didn't like it. That was one of the reasons I made it a sew along. I did too because I wanted to get this done. I'm tired of looking at it in pieces. And I want it on my bed. have any chaining pieces out <laughs> I don't know what to do my piece is stuck on the machine let's see if I can find something else floating I'll just sew some stuff together that don't go together it's all right <laughs> it'll just go into a crumb block or something Okay, now I need to press these and don't have any juice. <laughs> I'm going to finger press some. I can use my wood and iron. It's just three of them. <laughs> See how adaptable I am? <laughs> Go from, but I am using my press stick. That helps too. That did pretty good. <laughs> it's not flat, but it did pretty good. There is no heat. <laughs> it's already cool. That was quick. one goes over here let's see <laughs> Cherie says I love to come over but if I left the country they'd close the border so <laughs> I stayed out. <laughs> you caused too much trouble. <laughs> he says you'll fit right in with us. Yes, we had a good time. I had a great time in Houston. I had been to Houston once before. Was it once or twice? Once. I've been to Houston once. Now I'm using the iron, just pressing it on the iron and board, on the board, on the stick. And now I'm using the press wooden iron. That works pretty good, too. One more. <laughs> what time is it? 11.45. So I got 15 minutes, guys. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can match these into pairs. I like this press stick. This works really good. All right. There. I can move this back over there. And now we're going to match up sides. So now I have to sew the center seams. I have to switch hands. I have to sew the center seams like that. So I got two fabrics that meet up in the middle. Need something else. <laughs> and that's all I'm trying to do is not have the 
same fabrics touch so I'll do whatever I can pin until for 11 minutes whatever number of minutes we got left um Carlin saying that it's frozen I don't know it might start buffering now we've been on here for a while an hour over we've been on here about an hour we'll see hold on Audrey says that it's buffering now. It's almost midnight here. Eric says, by the way, T, I'm almost done with the quilt. Should be shipping back this week. Thank you, Eric, so much for helping me out with that. I appreciate it. If you want me to uh, pay for the shipping too, Eric, just let me know. It's no big deal. I appreciate you making the quilt. <laughs> Vicky says, I hand it to some. Mom needs a beginner sewing machine, four inch throat. Hard to do a full size quilt. You mean more than a four inch? More than a four inch throat to quilt. And Sharia is suggesting uh, doing quilt as you go. I don't want to put this on top of my iPad stand because I'm going to be leaving out of here in a bit. Don't want to get it buried. Okay, just trying to make sure when I pair these up that fabric's not touching in the middle. And then I'll do that down to like the last three or four pieces and then I'll try to make sure nothing's matching between those last ones. Because if you sew everything together without checking, at the end you best believe something's going to be the same fabric. If I've missed anybody's comment, so sorry. I've tried to go through and make sure I check. But it takes like maybe 30 or 40 seconds or something for me to even see what you all post. So it's like on a delay. Vicky says I'm a beginner. <laughs> um, Helen says you're buffering on my TV but not on my phone. Okay. And you know why I might be buffering now? Because I told you my husband was up. I heard him walking around he might have been got on the internet that might be why i'm buffering and when he gets on the Roku tv it just takes over it takes all the internet juice tiffany says it's only 9 46 here and with my belly acting up like this it looks like it's gonna be yet another night awake oh my goodness i hope you feel better tiffany Okay, so it probably was buffering and I didn't even know it. I had been watching my timer to make sure it's been working pretty good. And Sharia's talking to Vicky. She's telling her that the quilting is done in smaller chunks. As you finish a block, you quilt it. So that's why it's called Quilt As You Go. And then she says, Vicky says that I watched Poor Man Sewing do that. Eric says, I never did a quilt as you go. Well, not full size. I did do a quilt as you go, but it was because I did it all in a, well, I did the, it was a machine embroidered project. I did as a quilt as you go, but it was fun. So I'll be trying to watch how many more minutes I got. Nine minutes. <laughs> I should have just enough time to pin these. I'll pin these and then be done for tonight. I won't even try to sew them because if I sew them, then I'm going to want to stay up. 
and I got to go to bed. Otherwise, I'll be counting sheep at 2.30 and 3.30. <laughs> I do have some, uh, some of these Christmas fabrics are pretty cool. Some of them I'm just tired of looking at. And I did, once I had done all of my, what I call my god-awful ugly fabrics, I did go through and pick out a few pretty ones to put in here so that they weren't all the ones I didn't like anymore. So this one can't go. Need more pins. You can also um, do quilt as you go. Instead of doing it by block, maybe do it by rows. And then that way you get a little bit more done in a setting at a time and don't have to put all of those seams together. You just have to connect your row pieces. I have uh, Georgia Boone still used to be the queen of quilt as you go. She got very popular before longhorn machines came out. I have like old books of hers where she does different styles of quilt as you go. Georgia Boone still. I don't even know if she's still alive. Do anybody know? <laughs> I haven't heard anything about her in a long time. She used to be on PBS too. Every once in a while I have to switch it out because seams or my uh, fabrics are matching. <laughs> See if anybody is saying anything here. Good night, Rose. I see people saying good night. I haven't gotten to her comment yet. Rose says, it's been fun to be here for most of the chat. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. Tiff says, I tried Quilt As You Go. It came out bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And uh, Sheree is also saying there's a few different techniques you can use now. And Tiffany says, yeah, I prefer to quilt on a long arm. Now it's easier having MS and arthritis. Exactly. I don't think I'll ever quilt on my uh, regular sewing machine again since I got a long arm. Cheryl Lynn is here. Hey, Cheryl. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> she says, got to refresh. It keeps showing you saying the same thing over and over. Okay. And Sharice says, search YouTube for Georgia Boone Steel. She has a whole series up there. Wow. See, I didn't even know she had, was even on social media. But I know she done, um, you know, she had PBS shows. So I'm sure that they're floating around somewhere. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. Keep running out of pens. I don't want to bring my big pen cushion over this way. So I bring about five or six pens at a time. <laughs> and I'll leave these out so they're in my face. So the next time I come in here, I won't sew something that I shouldn't be sewing. which I'm hoping I get this done tomorrow. At some point, I do have a busy day tomorrow. I'm supposed to pick up um, somebody's quilt to long arm, 
that's going to be in our quilt shell. So she was supposed to have it ready for me today, but she didn't get it quite finished. So I'm hoping she gets, she says she was working on the back now. So hopefully that'll work out. Trying to make sure none of these major pieces touch <laughs> the big pieces or my red and green prints at least i don't really care about the background prints but i don't want that red and green to match okay i may have to take oh i got three left so now i have to lay all of them out uh oh we have one here This one with that one. Yeah, and then it works out. If I had not done that, I would have had a mess. Three more pins. So I'm getting closer to getting the step done that I posted. I got a lot of work to do, though. <laughs> I got a lot more to catch up. But at least I did some of it. Last one. All right, and my other seams go to opposite direction so I only had to use one pin again yeah I just wanted to make sure I unplugged this iron it can stay here I just don't want it to want to make sure it wasn't on so it's almost midnight guys so I'm gonna get ready to go but let me check the box again just to make sure she says hey hey super late but i'm here that's cheryl it's okay no problem this was just impromptu going online and i might do these a little bit more where i'm whenever i'm sewing i haven't been doing a whole lot of sewing because there's other things that i'm working on that are not sewing related like i'm getting ready for the quilt show so i need to be i'm going to be doing t-shirts patterns so i'm going to be doing a lot of printing or and or cutting on my electronic cutter stuff like that so i'm not always in this room but uh eric you had to uh moderate yourself <laughs> so uh but if i do if i am doing something late or something like that at night i might just come on here and just put it on even if it's just two or three people just something else to give you all to let you see what I'm doing. Uh, Cherie says that the last post from Georgia Boone Steel was 2018, so she's not sure if she's still around or not. Okay, I just need to Google her because I do like her. I like that she came out with that great technique because I did use it when I first started quilting. So thank you for Googling that because I can't do anything on here when I'm live and I have don't have my phone. Carolina says, I agree. I love the long arm quilting. I just need more to practice more. And the main thing about quilting is that every quilt is not a show quilt. So if you're just making utilitarian quilts, any quilting is fine. But like I said, I do the long wavy lines on some quilts. And Eric says he's never heard of her. <laughs> Hers is not the only way, but she pioneered it. Yes, she did. I understand. I do know that there are other ways. Uh, Tiffany says, I need more time on mines too. Can't quilt in the summer, only winter. Um, June says, I'm trying to learn how to do feathers on my long arm. Some are funny looking. And that's why you just got to keep practicing uh eric says my feathers look like deformed circles stuck on a stick 
<laughs> there are so many different ways that you can do feathers. And I can't remember if I showed you a video where I put feathers over an entire quilt. That's how I learned to get the hang of it. I just took one of my quilt tops. I made a big spine across the entire quilt on my long arm. And then I started at the bottom and then did feathers all the way up to the top. Then I took it back to the bottom and went down and did it on the other side. And then they, I got a little bit more of the hang of the rhythm. So... <laughs> it just takes practice, so... Okay, so Tiffany's saying, all right, T, have a good night. Everyone else, good night. I'll be here dying in pain. Ugh, she says, but I'm going to push through so I can be on tomorrow. Thank you, Tiffany. I do hope you feel better. <laughs> Cheryl says, that sounds awesome. I have an August birthday, too, so I always say that hi crafting season starts the day after my birthday <laughs> and eric is saying prayers to you tiffany cheryl says have a good night everyone feel better tiffany how frustrating sheree says i want a long arm but I had to settle for a sit down mid arm and those are really good too and i even have a friend that likes her sit down long arm so just having that extra wider throat area helps uh, Sharice says, a video called Feather Your Nest with Jeannie is a good way to start. Um, I think I did see that you have a green quilt, and I'll try it on that one. I did. I think I think I did see that. I have a green quilt, and I'll try it on that one. Jeannie has a Facebook group with free lessons attached. All right, everybody. Must have got it. looked like I had a piece of my HTV I was here weeding on my face. But uh, I will see you all next time. Thank you all so much for staying up with me. I appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> with my huge hands right in front of the